happy is the person who is doing what he or she loves. And I'm fortunate to grow flowers, so I'm happy. Just like any other woman, I love flowers. I like this infinite beauty, the rich floral multicolored gamut. Love must be present everywhere, because nothing will exist without love. Love must be in flowers, in family and in life. You must love everything you create. Seven hundred thousand one-year-old flowers are grown at this greenhouse farm every year. Among annual flowers, the most common ones are those plants that have become resistant to all conditions over the many years. They include ageratum, ever-flowering begonia simperflorens, and petunia. They feel very good in flower beds. They have a rich color gamut. We also have periwinkle, salvia and marigolds. These are the plants whose seeds were sowed by our mothers near houses. They are very popular to this very day. You can grow them outdoor from May, when the air temperature is 18 degrees Celsius and more. The period from sowing to finished product lasts half a year, and this is really hard work. Fourteen employees work in the greenhouse, which is 2,500 square meters in size. Here, flowers are planted from November, they are sown, planted in pots, and in late spring they are planted in flower beds outdoor. You see spur flowers growing in small pots. We will then plant them in bigger pots in order to get them to be bigger and more beautiful. After that, we will plant it in a decorative container. The temperature in greenhouses is maintained at 23 degrees above zero. You can plant adult plants in May, when the outside temperature rises to 20 degrees. But in winter the flowers are very small after sowing, so they need a temperature of 23 to 25 degrees above zero. If you want to grow tulips, you should plant tulip bulbs in September November. After that, they are kept in pots at a temperature of 5 degrees Celsius until January. Then they are moved to a warmer room, where the temperature is 9 to 11 degrees. And at the end of winter, the temperature is changed to 17 degrees. It's then that tulips and hyacinths begin to grow strongly and start blooming in March. The greenhouse must be well aired, so as to create an appropriate microclimate for plants, for them to develop and grow better, and a greenhouse must have high humidity, as a lot of water is used to create cozy conditions for the flowers. I've already been working at this greenhouse for 27 years, and I understood that just like people, each flower has its own character. Having sown a flower, you take care of it and nurse it like a child. You need to talk to it, praise it or chide it if it behaves badly. This is really tough work. We work eight hours a day. We water, plant or prune flowers, in motion all day long. We also sow flowers and replant them. The same people do all this work. After we have formed a bush of surfinia, we plant harvested cuttings into the soil. Ten days later, the cuttings take roots and we plant them in soil, into pots. These landscapers plan to plant 8 million flowers, 47,000 bushes and almost 7,000 trees this year. Ukraine exports about 1.6 to 1.7 million flowers a year. We see consistent growth trends in export supplies. These are in the main to neighboring Poland and Belarus. About 85 to 90 percent of all export supplies of flowers go there. In 2018, 50 percent of exports went to Belarus and 45 percent 
sent to Poland. The remaining 5% were sent to other countries. It's also worth mentioning flower production. We also see positive dynamics here. While in 2016 there were only two major suppliers of flowers for export, in 2018 there were about five suppliers. We have a large range of flowers. We select flowers by height those that are convenient for planting. At present, there is a trend for growing pendant flowers, Serfinia pelargoniums. The number of flowers increases every year. We constantly monitor this and buy new varieties of flowers to grow in our greenhouse. We loosen the soil in order for the plant to breathe better and for it to feel cozy there. Today we're striving to make the whole process of planting and growing more automated. But of course we still need human labor, because caring for such delicate plants as flowers requires human hands. Peat, which I put into these cells, is intended for planting petunia and begonias. But if we plant marigolds or salvias, then we add soil to the peat. For the technological process to take place correctly, the flowers need planting, looking after, including watering, feeding of the plants with certain fertilizers, the necessary amount of nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium. We take all these factors into consideration. The flowers need such feeding throughout the entire growing season. Each plant needs a certain feed. We cultivate Alternathera, Coleuses and Chlorophytum in the greenhouse. These flowers do not have a bright flower gamut, but they have a beautiful green mass. Therefore, they need more nitrogen fertilizers and watering because they need to form a green mass. If these are flowering plants, they need more potash fertilizer in order to produce flowers with a beautiful bloom. Everyone wants to have more money, so almost everyone has a money tree at home. Even I have this plant. I do not yet know what effect it has on the amount of money you have. But everything is possible. I'm expecting it. What if? This is a flower of the bowstring hem. It is commonly known as the mother-in-law's tongue. It is not known who invented the name of the flower, but it probably has some resemblance to mothers-in-law. This is the ever flower in begonia. Some call it buckwheat, in some regions the apple tree. Different names are typical for different regions of Ukraine, but we call it begonia. Pelargonium also has two names, the popular name of kolachik and the scientific name of Pelargonium. It has round leaves. Balsamine, its scientific name, commonly known as wet Ivan or touch me not. Why this name? Most likely because it needs a lot of water. Succulents, Sansevieria, they need less water, just like the money tree. The beautiful chlorophytum flower purifies air in apartments best of all. A great deal depends on a worker's mood. If he has a smile on his face while working, the result of the work will be quite different, it will be noticeable. And this is the truth. If you think about something pleasant, if you smile during work, you will have a completely different mood. It feels as though you forget about all your problems and plunge into the flower kingdom. When I'm in a bad mood, I come to work and my mood improves. The flowers bring me pleasure. I have been working here since 2004. Over that period, I have attended various seminars that are held every two years in Ukraine and abroad. 
for example, in Poland. Це Польща, куди я відряджуюсь, і там на семінарах я все-таки багато узнаю, тому що продукція у нас ідентична. Тобто, якщо продукція подібна, our production is identical. Therefore, if Poland has the same production, then it makes sense to learn from this. We adopt experience and try to grow flowers in line with their technologies, and we succeed in this. We're going to enlarge the size of greenhouses in the future. We need to put in a lot of effort to grow one or another plant material. It requires hard work, knowledge, experience, and of course you need to love flowers a great deal. My team and I have already put a lot of effort into making all of this grow and be pleasing to the eye, as we can see today. There are never too many flowers for me because I love them. It's my life. I never refuse flowers. If someone gives me them as a present, I enjoy them. I think that every woman loves flowers. My work brings me 100% satisfaction. I work among the beauty that I love and I believe that it reciprocates.